What's up guys, Nepenthes here and welcome back to some marquee matchups. The new marquee matchups is very close to expiring, 20 seconds to go and that gives me 20 seconds to ramble on to you amazing people. First of all, thank you for being here. If you enjoy the marquee matchups, drop a thumbs up on the video. Let's try and make this the most liked video today. Um, I don't know what that is. Let's, let's try and make this the most liked video on my channel today, which is already done. So. Let's just, let's try and hit like, I don't know, 4K likes. I think 4K is quite reasonable. So the marquee matchups, guys, is here. And we're going to get for completing this a prime gold players pack. So it's a good reward, which means it's probably a lot of big teams in here. And those teams are Villa vs. Fulham, Schalke vs. Hoffenheim, Wisla Krakow vs. Gidnia, Jin, Gnia, Gnia. <laughs> if there's a Polish person that watches me, First of all, sorry for that. Second of all, explain to me phonetically how to pronounce that name. Thank you. And fourth and final, guys, the big one, the Torino Derby. Torino versus Juventus. So we're going to start with Villa versus Fulham. It's going to be interesting. So you need one Villa player and one Fulham player, which means both of those clubs are, are likely to go quite high in value. Um, they're, of course, championship players. Aston Villa will go for first, which would be f the first team. Uh, Villa versus Fulham. So for Fulham, I've got three Fulham players. Not too bad at all. And then Aston Villa, we have got four Villa players. Although one of them is Snodgrass the Red. So we're not going to use him. So we need six English players and a 75 rated squad. All right. I'm going to go with this guy, Bree. And we're also going to go with the goalkeeper, Bun. And we're going to try and get that English set down the, the right-hand side. Now, I don't think Snodgrass is going to be worth too much. Because first and foremost, he is Scottish and a right mid. So he doesn't tick any boxes other than being from Aston Villa. Uh, oh, I can't use both of these. Let's use the goalkeeper. And let's put Johansson in as well. Let's do that. Um, Mitrovic might be well received in terms of value, but because he's gold, there's going to be loads of him. I'll give the I'll give the market some time before it, just, it, it understands what players it wants and what players it doesn't. Sessegnon might have boomed in value because he is from Fulham and he is English, although there's a few there that are low value. We're going to pop him up like so. Uh, we're going to see how that goes. And Brie as well now, we're going to pop him up like so as well. We'll just pop him up 3.5k. They might not sell, um, mostly because, again, they're just a bit too low rated. We need a 75 rated squad with 90 chemistry, six England players, and, of course, one from Fulham and one from Villa. That, that really does restrict who you can and can't use. So we'll go with England after that. Um, I've got a few defenders there, so we'll use Francis. We'll use Smalling. Chris, oh, I've got a shadow card on that Chris Smalling. I'm going to need a fair few more English players, however. I wouldn't mind. I can use Dyer at right back. That's not a problem. And I could use... Oh, I could use Mason as well. That's also pretty good. So we'll throw him in there. We'll, we'll throw Mason in there. And we'll go... Let's do that. Get the English soft links. Let's go for some championship players now. Now that we've got a few Englishmen in there. We'll go for... Um, oh, maybe I'll use Anua. And that will be... Five of our six Englishmen, unless Anua is going to be worth an absolute bomb. No, not all. There's not many of him on the market. He might go up crazy in value. I'm, I, I'm, I'm going to keep a, an eye on Anua. I might trade him out. Um, let's use Clark here as well. We'll do that. Um, so we're only 62 rated so far. We've got the Fulham player. We've got the English players. We've got the Villa players. We can now use anyone that we want in at these spots. Now, of course, we don't want to use the French League. Sorry, we don't want to use the Italian League. I don't really want to use... Have we got some centre mids here? Have we got three centre mids is what I'd need. We don't, right? So we're not going to use these guys. Let's go for... I don't really want to use Bundesliga either. Let's go for La Liga. See if we've got some centre mids from La Liga. We've got Adarese that we can put up front. We've got Benega, probably a bit too high rated. We've got some good Spanish strikers in there. Um, we don't really have what I need here. I need centre mids, not CDMs. And I've not really got them coming in. Unless, let's take this guy. Let's swap these two around and let's put, put Mason up here. Let's put Mason down in here. And then we'll go for some more La Liga 
players. Have I got any cams? We've got Banega and Buda Booze, but for chemistry, we might not make this. That's going to put us to 82 chemistry and 74 rated. That puts us to 95 chemistry. Oh, that's too much. That, that absolutely crushes the chemistry. Let's go... Um, let's have a look, see if a silver card is going to be enough. So a silver card is going to be enough. In fact, any silver card is going to be enough. Oh, no, wait. See, that won't matter. This guy doesn't work either. I think a Spanish player is going to be necessary from midfield. There we go. I'm going to use this dude. I can't imagine that Fabian here has humongous value. He doesn't. At, at most, 700 coins. 600. 450. Perfect. That is how we have done the first one. Now, what, the only thing I want to check is if we can get a centre-back that's English from this league that is not Neda Manua that works. I don't know if the rating is going to still be here. It is. And I'm not going to use Anua. I think Anua is going to be way more expensive than this Nottingham Forest guy. Let's just double check. Yeah, 950 and lo 500 there and loads of him. So he's definitely a much more efficient player to use. And that is going to be the first one done, guys. So Aston Villa v Fulham. Easy done. Uh, I don't know the price, the true value of the Aston Villa or Fulham players right now. I hope they're not too expensive. Next up is going to be Schalke versus Hoffenheim. So one Schalke player, one Hoffenheim player. Let's go to the Bundesliga. Let's go and find ourselves Schalke. And we've got three. That's very nice. And let's go to Hoffenheim as well. And we've got... One. Okay, that's perfect. And he's even a left wing back. So we need four Bundesliga players. Let's put in let's put in Ben Taleb. Uh three goal players minimum. Ooh. Okay. Hey, I like this. Three goal players. So let's just take a Bundesliga gold. Yeah, let's throw this guy in. And a Bundesliga goalkeeper that can be any rating. Now I guess it would be more like more prevalent to do that. Wait, we don't it doesn't even need to be have I got an untradeable Bundesliga player? Let me just go Bundesliga low to high. I mean I've got lots of untradeable Bundesliga players, but should I use this guy instead? Or this striker? Should I just pop the striker up there? Arp 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 arp. Um let's throw him up there. And then we just need chemistry. This seems too easy. For Schalke versus Hoffenheim, how much does Arp go for? 600, 500, oh yeah, he's mad cheap. He'll be like, probably, like, look how many, there's pages of this guy. We'll, we'll get like, he's worth like three, 400 coins maximum. So that's the first section done. And now we just need a 90 chem team. And that's super easy. Let's go to our, uh, our Bundesliga here, the Austrian Bundesliga, because this is just crazy cheap, crazy easy, crazy easy. Uh, we take him, we take him, and we only need 90 chemistry. This this doesn't seem right. I know we only get a mixed players pack for the rewards. We we'll throw him in there. I, I mean, that that's literally already it. So let's just go any. We'll just go for the lowest rated dude, some Randy goalkeeper. Look how easy that was. 94 chemistry. We got in abundance of chemistry. Three goal players only, four Bundesliga players. Super easy, super cheap. And we get ourselves a nice mixed players pack for that one. So very nice indeed. Next up, we're going to do uh, Whistler Krakow versus... G G G um, and we just need two players from either of those clubs. So let's go to the Polish League. Um, where are we there? And we've got... Is it that first one? Arka Guinea. Now I've got loads of these dudes. And that silver guy is untradeable, which is nice. Um, so we're going to use the silver guy just because it's untradeable. Three leagues minimum, team chemistry 85, team rating 70. Seems reasonable enough. Um, do we have a Whistler crack of untradeable two? No. I wonder how much these guys are going to go for. Are they going to be crazy expensive because you need three of them? Are they going to just be a little more expensive than normal? Am I going to be burning like a crap ton of coins by using this guy? You know what I mean? Like It looks like he's about 3k already. I tell you what we're going to do. We're going to go for we're going to go for that first team. We're going to take a goalkeeper, 64 rated, gets a strong link, perfect link into the the center back and we're going to take another center back as well 
the 67 rated guy. So I've got three players here from the same league. Now that's amazing for chemistry and decent for rating, right? They're okay for rating. We need three leagues minimum. Oh, you only need two players from this. Okay, change a plan, change a plan. Let's do that. Let's go and see what other Polish players we've got. Um, Poland, where are you? There you are. Let's see what we've got in terms of high to low. All right, so we've got some we've got some Polish players here that we can use. We need a minimum of three leagues. So the Calcio A guys are not from Juventus or Torino, which is fine because then we can go just we can just go Calcio A for some of it. I don't want to use too many Calcio A players because I I need them for the other one. Um, this is high to low, so Berami there is untradeable. Now, this only has to be a 70-rated team, so let's go for Swiss players from here on. Uh, let's go to the Swiss League. Where is that Swiss League? Is it here? Have I passed it? I passed it, haven't I? There we go. Swiss League. We'll throw in... I would prefer a Swiss left back. <laughs> it's giving me... Uh, right, let, let's, let's change this over. Let's pop him down there. Let's pop him over there, and let's go and get ourselves a Swiss right back. There we go. And he's seven. Oh, let's use a 65 rated guy because we've got two, three big players to boost the rating here. So that's not a problem. Um, we'll also use him there. Oh, he gets a perfect link as well. So that's perfect chemistry. Let's go and get a Swiss cam. Yeah, we'll use a 68 rated dude too. And a Swiss CDM. Um, do we have a Swiss? We don't really. How far are we to? Oh, we're, this is going to be fine. We, we could just use these dudes. It's okay. Uh, we can use this guy as well. He gets a strong link, uh, soft link in there. So chemistry has already been fine. Um, we just we've got the three leagues minimum. I guess we just need to find a cam that fits in here that works. Seventy-eight rated is what is too high. Seventy-seven rated is too high. We might get away with like a seventy-five. Seventy-five is too high. We might even get away with like a a nice seventy-three or so. Um, we've already got chemistry as well. So what I'll do is I'll find the rating that we need, and then we'll go and get a goalkeeper. So he's still fine. A 70 is fine. A 69 is also fine. We'll probably get away with something as much as a 65. 65 is fine. Is a 64 going to be okay too? Yes, it is. There we go. We'll just throw this guy in because he just works. That isn't bad at all. That's a really good build in my opinion. We only use two Polish league players. So I've got all of these guys I'm going to be able to sell on. I have a feeling like this guy is going to be worth a lot because he's Spanish. So he gets a link out of the league. Um, I'm actually just going to list him up for like... 6k see if he sells why not if he does he does if he doesn't i'll just relist him but we're going to change that one in we only get a gold pack for that so that's not the best and then last but not least guys torino v juventus we need two juve players and two torino players so this one might be a little bit more tricky if i don't have them right i have three torino players which is nice and then juventus i have got oh loads oh wait i don't really want to use i'll use quadrado what do we need? 78 rated, so we're going to throw in Quadrado and Mandzukic. Not efficient at all, but they're what I've got in the club, so we're going to use them. And we'll use Berdiso, and we will use this left back here. And then we're going to put a Calcio A centre mid in, two Calcio A centre mids, and then we'll build the rest of it down, so not a problem. So Pellegrini can go in. Let's have a look at cams and uh, CMs as well. We've got a cam or a, sorry, a CDM or a cam. Let's see what we've got. Just, just to be able to link it nicely... Um, so a Fiorentina CDM, got a cam there. What would I rather use? Let's use, let's use ROG. Right, so that's there. We need 95 chemistry and 78 rated. Do I just want to go for like a full Calcio A squad? Probably do, don't I? It's probably just going to be way easier. Like, I don't really need too much. We can use, we can use this silver guy. Let me just double check his price that he's not like a crazy amount. Um, I mean, he is like a thousand coins, isn't he? I'm not going to use him. We're going to wait. We're going to see what we get out of the rest of this. Only needs to be a 78 rated team, and we're well on our way to that because of the 83s and 82s that we've got in there. Uh, we'll go for a centre back in there as well. Castan can go in. That's a 75 rated squad already. Uh, let me go back to the centre back. Let me pop Dimao in here. That's a 77 rated, and that's almost all the chemistry. And then last but not least, let's just go low to high in gold. Um, is this guy going to be enough? He's not good for chemistry. 
Is the centre back good for chemistry? No. So I'm going to need a, a, a midfielder or a CDM. There we go. Boom. With Bo him in. Might be a little silly to use a full Calcio A team when you don't need to, but because you can have the full Calcio A team, because you only need six players, these players will probably stay at bottom price anyway. So we've got the two Torino boys in defence there. Mandzukic and Quadrado for our Juventus boys. Maybe a little bit silly using Mandzukic, but he's only like 1,400 coins right now, so maybe not. We get a goal players pack, and then that is it done, guys. Marquee matchups for the prime goal players pack has been completed. Um, fantastic stuff. Here we go. Five packs to open. I seldom get luck out of these. Mixed players pack. Oh, this is a terrible pack. Four silver, four gold, four bronze. Let's see what our gold is going to be. We don't get a board. We do get a shiny gold, though. So, sorry, what our shiny is going to be, not what our gold is going to be. It's going to be Ryan from Brighton. So, although we did, you know, you have a, a low, ch well, not the greatest chance, anyway, of getting a, um, we get a Japanese league player. You, you don't have the greatest chance of picking up a, a shiny gold. That's that's not bad. There's a 700 coin Japanese player. This We'll send him to the trade pile too. And these two to the trade pile. Send the silvers and golds into the club. And discard the worthless bronze. Not too bad. Next pack we've got gold pack. Jumbo premium gold pack and gold players pack. Wow. The actual individual rewards for the four completions of the four SBCs aren't very good. The reward for completing the whole set. The prime gold players pack is very good. I don't think I've ever seen four packs that are so underwhelming before in my life. Um, yeah, what did we get? A, a mixed players pack with only one rare. A gold pack that only has one rare in the pack, let alone a player. A gold players pack that, again, only has one rare and could potentially be silver. So that sucks. It is a gold rare, which is fortunate. Um... But it wasn't a good gold. French League. He might be worth a little bit. Portuguese. This guy. I'll send him up to the trade pile. He might be worth a little bit. And then we'll send these guys up as well. And then the Jumbo Premium Gold Pack. Which is okay. It's like a 15k pack. This is definitely the best pack out of the four. It's a Prime Gold Players Pack that's obviously pretty good. We don't get any boards out of any of the packs so far. What do we get out of this? Italian Centre Back. And it's going to be Asabi. So not a great centre-back in the slightest. What else do we get in here? Ooh, Gail Clichy there. Not really worth a damn. Some contracts and consumables. Position modifiers. And then Zapata. So that wasn't the best pack either. So this is it, guys. The prime goal players pack. This is the crudest. Ha! Do we get something good out of this? Do we get a ball player? Do we get a sellable player? Do we make profit? No, we don't. We get absolutely nothing. The only thing that could help us here and save us here is if we pack a Bundesliga Spaniard. That is it. If there is a Spanish Bundesliga player in here, we've hit the jackpot. There is not. Russian, Italian, English, Belgian, Italian, English 2, English 2. Two whole players. How about that? Spanish League and Swedish. And then three more players that mean nothing. So, guys, we get ourselves a prime gold players pack. It didn't yield dividends. I don't think we made much off of today's marquee matchups, which is quite sad. But this is going to be the end of the video. If you did enjoy it, be sure to leave a like, rating, comment, and subscribe to my channel if you haven't already. But for now, guys, I'm out. Peace.